Hello and welcome to another revisit of Gilmore Girls. The episode I'm going to be watching today is Season 7, Episode 11, Santa's Secret Stuff. So thank you to Anne Marie for recommending the episode. Now what are my predictions for this episode? Well, I'm assuming Santa's Secret Stuff is a reference to uh, special substances that make you feel wonderful, but aren't always... um over the counter and it'll be accidentally taken by our two main characters as they make their way around town saying Merry Christmas to well the townsfolk our favorite people yeah sure <laughs> that's my guess let's find out if I'm right the red coats are coming the red coats are coming whoa whoa hold on there is he what what's this guy doing here I'm so mad at you. Okay, well, Rory's coming home for a Christmas break. But my car was parked at the airport car park. So what? I could have driven to the airport, picked you up, brought you back. Then we both could have driven to pick up your car and come back here. Yeah, because that wouldn't be a waste of gas or anything. Well, you've spent a lot of time across the pond. You might get confused and forget which side of the road to drive on. Well, she's not Inspector Gadget. Hi, little sister. Oh, hello. Okay, go. Oh. Okay, so this is the baby we watched get delivered. Hey, so you made it here okay? Yeah. You know, because I was thinking all that time in England, you might forget which side of the road to drive on. <laughs> what are those? What are what? Are those a Christmas present from Logan? No, I mean, well, yeah, but it's more like a, a late birthday New Year's. Uh, what, she's still with him? Season 7, episode 11? Damn, I guess their relationship lasted. I was devoid of the Christmas spirit, a complete Scrooge. Wait, did Rory do something to her eyebrows? What? It hasn't snowed yet? You stopped the snow? Yes, sheer force of will. Oh, well, the mistletoe is one when you can't see. I'm now ready to celebrate Christmas for real. Yay. Let's celebrate Christmas. So you stopped the snow? Yeah, I did an anti-snow dance. It was humiliating and arduous, but I had made a promise to my daughter. Humiliating. Two words, coconut bra. Well, uh, why don't we get to see it? For you guys' sake, I'm not disappointed. Ah, uh, so he's a part of the credits, which means he's a main cast member at this point. I love our trees. Me too. You don't like our trees or... What? How old is this baby? So it's been three years since she was born? And if you were to look up a tree in the dictionary, you would not find one of these fellas. And why is he here? That tree has character. It does. That tree has earned character. I thought we didn't like him. Survivor. Peck, 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 day in and day out. Is Luke okay with this? Here's Santa's costume. Wow, that's seen better days. Why do you have Santa's clothes? Because I used to do Santa's dry cleaning. You did? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my antlers. I love my antlers. Oh, me. Let me try. Yeah, I'm Vixen. And she stole it. She took my antlers and she galloped away. Mistletoe. Where's it go? We tape it up to one of the blades of the ceiling fan upstairs. That way, the kissing is more like a sport. It's one of our traditions. Kissing is a sport? But who's using it? What other traditions am I in for? Mm, on Christmas morning, we put red and green M&Ms in our cereal. Down with that. Why is he here? Because it's our first Christmas together as a family, I thought maybe it's time to start some new traditions. Like what? I got a Z's. Disgusting. You know what else we should do? We should go caroling. Carols are beautiful. Glow! You guys ever looked up what this actor is doing now? Because I made that mistake. Oh. You. I thought we were done with you. Hi, Michelle. Is Lorelai here? Wait, done with him? What do you mean, done with him? Well, this is uh, awfully awkward. You should make some sort of conversation. Does someone in your family own a flannel company? Uh, no. You know what? I cannot do this. Let us just stand here and let the awkwardness wash over us. Fine by me. He's going to say something else, isn't he? Oh, here she is. It's been a delight chatting with you. Of course. Anna wants to move to New Mexico with April. New Mexico? Anna's mother just had major surgery and... Okay, his daughter. Right now, she's not letting me see April at all. So, I have to fight for custody and I'm going to court. Wow. Okay, so their engagement f fell apart. Uh, I need a character reference. And Liz wrote one, but my lawyer read it and uh, he said it was sweet, but it was... Filled with all these weird childhood anecdotes that I probably don't want to share with anyone, much less... <laughs> yes. But if, if you could... Uh, yes, I'll do it. This is my lawyer's address, and you can just uh, mail the letter directly to him. Uh, look, if you don't mind, if you could do it as soon as possible. I mean, the court date's right around the corner. So him having a daughter broke their engagement apart. That sucks. But oh well, so is life, as the saying goes, I think. 
I mean, I just keep thinking that whatever I write might help save Luke's relationship with his kid. Plus, I mean, it's Luke, and after all you've been through, it's gotta be hard. You don't have to dig up all those feelings for him. I mean, that can't be fun. You must be feeling overwhelmed. I don't really think it's about digging up my feelings for Luke. <laughs> I think it's really about writing an amazing letter. I mean, the stakes are really high for him. And I nah, nah, it's definitely about your feelings. I want it to be something powerful, you know, like Gettysburg Address powerful, or I have a dream powerful. What is she making? Her having time to do this is kind of crazy. What is her job supposed to be here, besides owning the place? Is it twins? It's gotta be twins. Oh my god, she's pregnant? You think I'm pregnant? Oh yeah, because it's not acceptable in this society to be a plus-size woman who happens to carry her weight in her belly. Wait, what? I need new glasses, I'm sorry. Of course I'm pregnant. Turkey was Swiss. What? What? Hey, hey! Well, that's a tall lady. What's up with this tip? Oh, I'm sorry. This is 50%. I don't need your pity tips, okay? I'm pregnant, not homeless. That's a tall lady. Hey, bro! Hey! Wow, what are you doing? Well, I biked over because, oh my gosh, Lane is gigantic. Yo, I wouldn't mention that to Lane. Oh, that's our daughter, huh? Does your mother know you're here? She doesn't have a clue. I told her I was going to spend the whole day at the Boston Museum of Science with my friend Melissa and her dad. And it's perfect because mom confirmed things with Melissa's dad two days ago. Then yesterday, I told Melissa's dad that I couldn't come because I had gotten the curse. The curse. Which is perfect because you know how awkward men get about menstruation. Yeah, uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take you home. No! I'm sorry. Dad, no, please, no, I've missed you so much. Yeah, well, I missed you too. Here, this is for you. Thanks. I actually got you something too. What is in there? Are you hungry or what? Do you want fish sandwiches? Be very careful with your needle. I know. Oh, look at all of them matching. So who's Lane's... Is it, is it the guy she was dating? The guy who was also her bandmate slash roommate? Sounds like you're overthinking this. Maybe if you just put pen to paper. I tried that. I thought, I'll just sit down and write. Whatever comes, no judgment, no inner critic. Boy, was that a bad idea. Okay, then research other reference papers and just follow the format. I should really drive a hybrid car. I should really take my bicycle to work. Bicycle, unicycle, unitard, hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants. <laughs> Hockey puck, rattlesnake, monkey, monkey, underpants? Why does the little kid look off to me? The kid looks like her footage was filmed in the, the 1960s and they added some, some modern colors and spliced her in with the other two. You can write my letter for me. No. This is something you have to write for yourself. What letter? Uh, to Santa. Wow. <laughs> Help. Uh -huh. So cranberries really stay on the string and the popcorn falls right off. Hi, sweetie. Hey, everybody. Hey, Dad. Sweetie. Hey. Oh, my God. They're together? Look at those. They're for the trees. So what do you have in bag? No snooping. This is Santa's secret stuff. More like no Santa. Oh, my God. She does Santa's dry cleaning. Well, Lorelai is a remarkable woman. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Welcome, Welcome home, babe. babe. So we went to the Nature Mart and guess what we got you? Okay, so he is a dad. How's your bladder? Are the babies putting a lot of pressure on your bladder? What? I don't know. Well, how many times did you urinate today? Oh my god, Zach, I'm so not answering that. How many are in there? I happen to know that you forgot to take your calcium tablets for two mornings. That is not right, Lane. Mama, you're counting my pills? Yes, of course. Oh, wow. So, is the band still together? A Twix ad, huh? What is that? It's the crib we ordered. Isn't it cool? It'll be big enough for both of them. Where are my drums? They're good. They're safe. We put them in the closet. The closet? You put my drum kit in the closet? Well, yeah. I mean, we needed the space in Lane. We haven't had band practice for months. Okay, so the band is still together. Great. We need to have band practice. Sure, and we will. Now. Now. If you want, we can call Gil and Brian, but I mean, can you even play? What do you mean, can I play? <laughs> I melted three entire candy canes into this not very large cup of coffee. I mean, how arbitrary is it to decide to stop serving candy cane coffee the day after Christmas? Christmas spirit is not something that can be turned off like a faucet on December 26th. So they don't drink at Luke's anymore? Merry Christmas. Christmas is over. Okay. Okay. 
Why are you lying to Dad? I'm not lying. But you're not telling him about this character reference thing, are you? I've been around a long time, okay? I wore leggings the last time they were trendy. I knew Tom Hanks when he was a bosom buddy. And they're trendy again. And have been for the past 10 plus years. He's been a bit on edge about Luke, you know? I ran into Luke outside Dozie's the other day and Dad saw me holding Liz's baby and it just wasn't great. It wasn't great timing. Oh. Okay. It caused tension and we argued. So I just want to be sensitive and not worry him about something he doesn't need to worry about. Everything is going to be fine. So the relationship is hanging on by a thread and Luke can cut that thread is what I'm hearing. That's good. How's that? Good, it really livens up your apartment. Well, it's a very lively mask. Thanks again, April, I love it, I really do. It's based on my real face, you know. Oh yeah? Oh, I mean, not the outside, but the inside. <laughs> I made it in art class and I had to lie still with straws up my nose while a partner put plaster strips on my face. Straws up your nose, huh? This kid, Evan, he got Liz Alderman as a partner, who's a total wild child, and she laid the plaster strips all willy-nilly and ended up pulling off half his eyebrows. Oh, that oh wow. Actually, Liz Alderman's on my swim team now. Oh, yeah? She's got these really huge feet, which Coach Bennett finds promising. Mm, like Bill. <laughs> you know, I hear they have really great swim teams in New Mexico. Yeah, right. Probably don't even have water to swim in. No, you know, in hot climates, they actually have more swimming pools. I bet you a lot of kids there will be really into swimming. Well, then they're probably too good for me. I mean, the only reason I get to do so many events is because everyone on my team stinks worse than I do. Hey, rolls. <laughs> All right. That's a big present. What's in there? Are you trying to bribe me out of a bad mood with the <laughs> offer of material goods? Because I'm amenable to that. Helicopter? Oh, what is that? Well, a rock polisher. Thanks. A what? Dad, I, I kind of already got a rock polisher from Grandma. This one looks more powerful than the one I already have. Plus, I mean, who couldn't use two rock polishers? Yeah? Sure. You should see my rock collection right now. Or just give one away. It's insane. I practically got a quarry in my bedroom. Granite, of course, but also feldspar, quartz, mica, limestone. Cool. <laughs> the other day, I found an arrowhead in almost perfect condition. It's so sharp, I think I'd get in trouble if I brought it to school. You know, if you're interested in arrowheads, New Mexico has some incredible Oh my places. God. Dad? Okay, okay. <laughs> hey, I'm done with the lights. You want to see them now or you want to wait till after dark? Um, uh, I will wait. What you got there? Uh, nothing. Rory, get to go shopping. Using yellow paper to write the letter is crazy. Because who wouldn't want to listen to Art Brute for a week straight? Oh, what? Did she get bigger? Uh, yeah, here they are. <sighs> hey, back up, buddy. Down. Brian? Brian? Is Gail always late? Oh, check out the mandolin! So what kind of stuff you been working on? Uh, mostly I've just been messing around. I wrote one song that's kind of White Stripes, Little Ghost meets the Decemberist, meets Gulag Orchestra, meets like Losing My Religion, meets Jethro Burns, and <laughs> meets the Smiths, meets some other stuff, but I don't that's, know. That's a lot of meeting. <laughs> this is eerie. You see the way I'm holding my mandolin is exactly one of the baby holds I've learned. See how I have it in the crook of my arm with its head supported? Yeah. Which is... Finally. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! How we doing? Long time no see. Gil, how's it hanging? Oh, he brought his kid? It's hanging great, my friend, so check it out. This is the youngest of my brood, Macon. Macon, this is the band. What up? <laughs> Check you out, Lane. You are some kind of serious fertility goddess. Thanks. Okay. Zach, nice work, man. <laughs> then maybe Zach could show us what he's been doing with the mandolin. The mandolin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right on. Oh, man, you got the Alchemy 3000. The what? The what? The breast pump. I'm psyched you guys picked this one. It's really gentle. I mean, my wife's got sensitive nipples. This one didn't bum her out at all. You use that to pump milk, sure. Okay. You guys, I'm sure Brian is not interested in this. Breastfeeding, huh? Ooh, they do care. Why Why? Do, why does she not want to care? I got cologne for Michelle and the same cologne for my mother. Mm, weird. Well, they'll both hate whatever I give them, so I figured why spend time picking out doomed gifts? Well, I was wondering why I was having so much fun this episode. We haven't seen the parents yet. So I guess all we need is dad. I mean, we'll find something. We have a whole mall here full of post-Christmas prices. We'll find something. Ooh, snowboard. He is my husband now. I've never bought something for a husband. I wish they had a special store. I'm sorry. She's married to him? Huh. What do you think? I think he'd love it. Come on. 
Oh my god. Solar system's 50% off! Well, that's not just a post-Christmas sale, it's a post-Pluto sale. Hey, it's Luke. Hmm? Uh, I guess we should, uh... uh yeah. Oh, hey. hey! Hey! And there's the reason our marriage fell, our engagement fell apart. Hi, April! Hi! So, yeah, April just showed up at the diner today, out of the blue. You make it sound like Pearl Harbor. <laughs> so, how's it going? It's, I'm almost done. Done? Uh, you're not talking about the letter. So I like your sweaters, they're very festive. Oh, thank you, it's Christmas for us. Rory was in London at the end of December, so we waited to do Christmas together. Of course you did. Oh, so it's not Christmas at all. It never was Christmas. So, April, how was your Christmas? Well, I'm 60% atheist and 40% agnostic, so Christmas isn't really a big deal for me. Oh, really? 60-40, huh? Well, are they Christian? We exchanged it for this microscope. My dad's always been a great gift giver. I guess I don't know if I was always considered so good at picking out presents, right, Rory? Oh, no, you've always been great. Towels? <laughs> You gave her towels? I had them monogrammed. I thought it was cool. Yes, you went through quite the monogramming phase. I believe you received a monogram pencils, a monogram mug, a monogram backpack, and a monogram belt. Okay. Hey, remember the year you got me the unicorn marionette with the purple horn? You didn't like the unicorn marionette? I've never really been that into unicorns. What is a marionette? Oh, wait, it's those toy things that, like, spin, right? Because for the next five years, I only got unicorn items. Unicorn sweatshirt, unicorn pencil case. <laughs> Bumper sticker, I break for unicorns. Yes, Lorelai. Notice you made a mistake. Hey, let me carry that. No, thank you. Lane, come on. I'm perfectly capable of carrying a bag of groceries. Not oh my god, Lane. You know, your mom doesn't think you should be eating too many cookies. Enough about my mom, okay? Enough! I'm so sick of her! Come on, she's been pretty great, Lane. She cooked for us, she cleans for us, she's a total fount of baby information. Well, you know what? Maybe you should have married my mom then, okay? Well, I'm sure when your mom was younger. I'm sick of being treated like I'm not a person, like I'm some incubator whose puffy ankles and varicose veins and bathroom habits are up for discussion. On what planet is it appropriate to ask a person how many times a day she urinates? Well, you can ask me. I don't want to ask you. Six times a day so far, I had a lot of coffee. Well, if you have that type of relationship, I don't see the issue. I'm an adult, I don't want to be hiding things under the floorboards and behind cushions again. Yeah, that's no good. Plus we're starting to get ants and mites. I don't want everything to change just because we're having these babies. But things are going to change. Yeah, things are going to change. It was such a small window. For years I was this repressed kid and then there was the briefest of windows. And then, slam! All of a sudden I'm this overburdened mother. I barely got the chance to be a person. No, no, you can still be a person and you can still be rock and roll. Sonic Youth has a kid and they're still way cool. And Mick Jagger, that cat has like 15 kids and he still goes out and rocks. Well, I mean he doesn't take care of them, does he? For sure, the man rocks hard and then he comes home and he makes another kid. I don't want to make any other kids, ever. Well, he's not the one giving birth to them, so. All I'm saying is we can still go out and play. I mean, that's kind of one of the cool things about having your mother around, built-in babysitter. Yeah. What if she hung out with us on the weekends and spent the week back at her pad? Yeah, I guess that'd be all right. Let me carry that bag for you. Good work, man. Good work. Well, I had such a good time with you today. I was thinking that Tuesdays after school, I could tell mom that I have chess club. I really only have chess club once a week, but I could pretend it's twice a week. And so as soon as school's over, I could bike halfway to Stars Hollow and you could meet me. I could hide in the bushes and do some free range bird calls. <laughs> We can't lie to your mother. We're sort of in negotiations to uh, figure out how to share our parenting responsibilities. Do you have a good lawyer? A good. You better have a good one, because mom hired a shark. We probably don't, because he doesn't like lawyers. What should we do with the microscope? Keep it. I'll use it the next time I'm over. Soon. A typewriter. My god. In 2000 and what, seven? Disgusting. That's dripping. Wet. That's dripping. I'm not very good at You're making a mess, Dad. Okay, so her letter is done, huh? And what do we say if anyone asks? We made, we made cookies by scratching. <laughs> From scratch. From scratching. What? <laughs> hey. Hey, we're making some cookies by scratching. <laughs> that sounds appetizing. I'm gonna run out for a sec. I'll be right back. How come he's not wearing red? Is that visual storytelling to let us know he's not really a part of the family? Have snow. Okay, Lorelai. That's your your signal to run to him. Head to his, his house, his diner. Tell him how you really feel. Christmas. Damn, she didn't do it. Well. And that's the end. 
So that was Gilmore Girls. I'm very unhappy to see that this sperm donor has somehow walked his way back into our life. Not happy about that at all. And, um, well, that's it. That's all that really matters this episode. If it was Dean, I'd be totally okay. Luke, option number two. But this guy? Come on. Man, come on. Nonsense. That's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.